Hello, my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alexis here with Oat Modesty. Today, I have happy mail from a friend. And also, I'll be making a couple of new announcements. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. Okay, welcome back my beautiful wildflowers. Today is September 22nd, 2021. And guess what? Today is the first day of fall and summer is officially over. And you know, I sometimes get a little bit sad when uh, we go from one season to the next, but I really can't say I'm really sad about summer going into fall because there are two seasons that are my favorites and that is fall and spring. And so I'm kind of excited about what fall brings. And the reason why fall and spring are my favorites is because for me, fall is a relief from summer, the really, really hot summer months. And you know, I mean, it's okay, I love summer too. But the thing is, I mean, it starts to cool down and it's just like trying to cycle in a new, you know, new time of the year. And, and you know, only so much you can take of summer because it's, we have what, three months of it. So it's pretty hot all three months. And especially the last month, September is really stifling here in California. So I do enjoy fall. In the spring for the same reason, it's a break from the cold frigid winter, right? And so those are pretty much my uh, favorite seasons, right? Seasons? Seasons. So before I go any further, uh, the reason why we are having this talk today is because I have friend mail from a very good friend and this is my birthday present. She sent it in a huge UPS box, but I had to take it out of that because it wouldn't fit in a frame. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what's in here. And also I did type out the names of the winners, previous winners. So I will go ahead and cut these up for you, probably put it on really um, fast speed, and then we'll pick a winner, okay, um, of last year's winners. And this is, I'm gonna name this my birthday giveaway, okay? My birthday giveaway. So before we do any of that though, we have Power Thought cards. And today what we have is a simple card with like six words on it, there we go. And, okay, there you go. And it says, I open new doors to life. I open new doors to life. Okay, well, to me that says, I open a new chapter to my life. And this is actually pretty relevant because we are going into, like I said, a new season, a new chapter. And for me, I am the only one who can open my door to a new life or to a change, right? And so many people actually wish for change and look for change for the better. And they just sit there, do nothing, change nothing. But you have to make an effort if you wanna open a new chapter. Sure, the season's gonna change. Sure, the month is gonna change. Sure, the day and a week is gonna change. But if you're not changing your habits and changing what you're doing, regardless of what the you know day of the week it is, or what season it is, or what year it is, nothing's gonna change. So I must go there, put my hand on that doorknob, and open that door. Unless I'm willing to do that, nothing will change, okay? They say, well, change is gonna happen anyway. Yeah, change can happen all around you of the things that people are changing progress, innovation, all of those things would change. But if you're doing the same things day in and day out and not making any changes for yourself or opening those new doors or turning the chapter, you're gonna be stuck. You will be stuck. And even though everything else changes, you stay the same. And a lot of times people become depressed because stagnation, they stagnate and they feel like they're not going anywhere in life and they're doing the same things day in and day out and their habits are the same. They get up, they you know brush their teeth, put on makeup, go to work, come home, you know, make food and you know. Yeah, it could be really monotonous if you don't add the spices to that cooking. You know what I mean? So really make an effort to, if you wanna make changes, make an effort to do that. 
by small step, as I said in the past, in the previous um, affirmations, you don't have to do anything spectacular. Maybe add a routine in there. Maybe make phone calls to a friend you haven't talked to in a while. Make plans with each other and then you know, do different things and maybe Take a course online if you want to, if you want to make changes, whatever the changes it is that you are wanting to make, you're the only one who can do that. And that's the only way you can open new doors to life. Okay. So this is, I open new doors to life. And so there you go. Okay. Okie dokie then. So I'm really excited because um, I got this friend mail. Like I said, um, when did I get it? I think I got a few days ago and I looked at it and I shook it a little bit. I said, ooh, and this is from my very good friend Mia. And um, I know she asked me since I moved, she said, can you send me a new address? And so, yeah, and I did. And this arrived like a couple of days after packaged in UPS. So I'm gonna go ahead and start opening that. Like I said, this packaged really well. And you know what? I'm going to try to save this um, stuffing here because I usually do so that way I can send my giveaways using these kind of cushions because I try to protect it all. Oh, okay. It's taped here. So, okay. But this is really well, uh, yeah, packaged. Finally, and it says Alexis, and she did it in in a little very nice design. Oh, so sweet! And let's see what she had to say. Well, let me read it first. I don't know if she meant it for me to read it to everybody, but let's see. It says Express Mail, Happy Mail. Oh, she even has a sticker. Oh, I love that, Mia. You got to tell me where you got that Happy Mail. Love it. Okay, and yeah, let's see. I don't want to tear it up because I save all of these. Oh, look. Happy birthday. Oh, it's nice and shiny. Okay. It says, Happy birthday, Alexis. Wishing you a wonderful, perfect day. I thought these would look great on your walls. Thank you for being such a good friend. Love, Mia. Aw, thank you so much, Mia. And it's something that goes on my wall. Good, because I, I've been looking for something that, you know, I need to put on the wall. So let me not tear through this because I want to take care of it. And Mia is also the person who actually um, hand stitched uh, the um, broidery, I think, embroidery or um, I forgot what, not crochet, but, and I have the wildflowers. That's her. And so let's see. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, there's a couple of things. Hold on. Okay, she has a separate mail here. And, oh, I'm gonna cry. <gasps> this is so beautiful, so perfect. Oh my gosh, and this has got, this has got a, like a frame and where I can stand it on my desk even better. So that way it could be closer to me. <gasps> Hold on, I'm gonna show you, but I saw it. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? It's got a wooden frame. It says, in a field of roses, be a wildflower. Oh, that, oh, that is so sweet, Mia. Thank you. She put so much thought into this. She knew that I would totally love this. Oh, it has a little cute tag in the back of it. And it's called, uh, let me see, decorative expressions. Oh, it has a nice little stand so I can stand it up on my desk. Oh, I do love this. Thank you so much. Okay, there's another one here, the bigger one. And let's see. This one probably won't fit on my desk. This one will probably have to go on my uh, wall. But let's see. Oh, I can already see the sides of it. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. It's a canvas. It's a canvas of wildflowers. You know what? I, I don't want it to be um, shiny, so I want you guys to see it. And oh my gosh, she knows how much I love wildflowers. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm shaking. It's so beautiful. This is so perfect. You know, you know one thing I do appreciate more than anything else, though, that my friend knows me and knows who I am and what would make me happy. And look at this. 
Isn't this beautiful? Oh, I wish all of you had one of these. It's so beautiful. Look at this. And it's it, like I said, it's canvas. And I'm going to hang it on a wall. Actually, I, I have a perfect place for it where I can put it right above my mirror. And I can see it every time I'm putting on my makeup. So, okay. Well, that's that. It's going to make me cry. But yeah thank you so much and that is so exciting i can't wait to put it up and let me get rid of the rest of this stuff so i don't drop the pictures ah thank you so much okay all right well now let's move on to the next piece but i'm going to really enjoy it okay so with my heart full of love and i'm bubbling over right now i'm going to go ahead and take this and i'm going to start cutting it and so that way I can go ahead and pick a name. So I'm, I'm not going to talk right now because I'm going to fast forward this part of it. Otherwise, you guys aren't going to have to uh, watch me with the teeny tiny scissors. Yeah. So, yep. Because I packed it away and can't find a big scissor. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers. I know that took a while, but I had to like cut it, make sure that I got it all. And here they are. And now I'm going to go ahead and ball it up and put it in a basket. Hold on one second while I grab a basket. Okay guys, I'm back. I got my little longer bugger basket. And so I'm gonna go ahead and crumble these up and or crumble this up. No, just kind of sort of fold them. I'm gonna fold them and just throw it in here. And there's tons of them, okay. And so, and then I'm going to pick the one. I know I'm taking forever. And I just noticed a couple of typos as I'm cutting it. And I'm like, okay, that should have been an F and not a G type of thing. And I'm like, okay, but I know the name's supposed to be. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. And I have like bunches of them. And so, yeah. Let me speak this part up for you, okay? <laughs> Okay, guys, I got them all in a basket. And so let me see if I can shake them all up without dropping. I got to hold on to the insides of it because it's got, you see the plastic. And if I shake it with the plastic, it'll just like pop right out. So. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and close my eyes. And I'm going to search. Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, let me see. Okay, guide my hands. And you guys are all winners, by the way. But, you know, I can only pick one for this one. So here we go. Got it. Okay. Are you ready? Ready? I'm going to show it to you first. As I see it on the screen, I will know who it is. Okay, you ready? Okay. Make sure I can... S oh, there you go. Yolanda Robinson. Yolanda Robinson, you are the lucky winner. Congratulations, Yolanda. And you know what? Wait a minute. 
aren't you the first, very first winner of my last year's birthday one? I'm going to have to look that up because I think it was Yolanda. I'll have to think about it, but there it is. I think she was a winner of my very first giveaway. Okay, well, history repeats itself if that's the case. So, yeah, congratulations, Yolanda. Well deserved. And so you have 48 hours to call me. And, um, uh, by the way, I did um, go ahead and um, look and see seeing if they were still subscribed to me. Fortunately, only a couple of them weren't. And so, and I haven't seen them in a while, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. I stuck the name in there, and then if they, they were chosen, then I would have gone ahead and looked again. But I know Yolanda is still subscribed, and congratulations again, Yolanda. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers. Perfect. And just because I don't want you guys to be, you know, kind of feeling like, oh, but I didn't win, that's okay. Because you will have equal opportunity and also, those of you who were not the winners last year will have an equal opportunity because I am going to launch the 800 Beautiful Wildflower giveaway a little early so I can be fair, okay? And I want to be fair about it. So hold on one second when I move this picture because I don't want anything to happen to it. Okay. Here we go. Sorry about that. And so the 800 beautiful wildflower giveaway will begin along with this. So that way you guys have something to look forward to as well. And um, as far as the word that I want you to put in the comments, it's September, the month of September. Okay, September. S-E-P-T-E-M-B-E-R. And you must spell it right, okay? Otherwise, the comment picker will not pick you. And so remember, you have to be subscribed to me. And I, sh I have to be able to see it. You have to like this video. Give it a like. And also leave a comment below with the word September. But please don't put enter me or enter me in a giveaway September or anything like that. Don't let it known that there is a giveaway underneath it because people might have watched it and said, oh, I didn't win, so they might have left and they didn't see this part of it. And so to be fair for all of you that is watching all the way to the end, please do just put, you know, September. And also um, the winner, as far as the winner, please don't put the person's name on there in the comments. Say, congratulations, Yolanda, don't do that. Just put congratulations to the winner, okay? So that way, because it's only fair that people are watching through the video instead of just as soon as they see that they're not the winner, they don't watch the video and it doesn't help me out at all. And I really didn't think about that until the opinionated horsewoman made that comment. I'm like, hmm, that's true. I should probably say that too. And so, yep. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers. And um, Yolanda, again, congratulations. 800 wildflower giveaway launching today, even though I don't have 800 yet. But I know I will because I am at $7.95. And I will have to be well into $800 before I pick a winner, okay? And so, I'm ready, my beautiful wildflowers. Again, happy fall. First day of fall. And happy birthday to me. And happy birthday to Yolanda from me, okay? All righty, my beautiful wildflowers. If I added any value, please do hit like. And... If you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing, especially if you like this type of content. And you can do that by hitting subscribe, ringing a bell, and selecting all. So every time you know when I upload a brand new video. So my beautiful wildflowers, I want you to have a good day, a good night, a good week, or a good weekend whenever you're watching this. But in a field of roses, be a wildflower and never sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.